my guys with that baby, baby, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look, we watching, boy. We the Jays, boy. We watching <laughs> <laughs> SED Foundation contains one punch man. <laughs> what? One punch man. Like Tama, oh. like Tama's big surprise. That's that's little what they said, bro. I'm trying to see what they surprised them with. What's gonna happen? Hey man, let's still get into this video. Uh, I gotta edit that. Right. <laughs> Skyscraper. I don't edit that right. <laughs> Collapse. Helicopters and tanks have been ripped to shreds, and seemingly unstoppable monsters wander through the world. Hey, yo, that's um, a giant hideous scrub. reptile. Eyes glowing with malice. Big Bay 2. SCP-682. Come on now. Is this the result of a containment breach? No. It's exactly where the Foundation wants it to be. Watched by a Foundation drone floating high I'm above sure in the smog-choked sky. Hmm. They're anticipating a battle two for five. of two for five. proportions. Oh, hell Not no, far bro. Away. Another monster. Oh, I don't get it. No, stop, stop, stop. Wait a minute, ticket. Like, no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. No one even said none of that. No one said none of that. No one said none of that, bro. It's formed hideously elongated. Yo, that's um, it's who's that? Um, um, death. um, that's it's 096. Face, an omen of absolute doom for anyone who yeah, sees it. SCP 096. Is this the result of a containment breach? You just said that. You already said that. No, it's here exactly. Oh, the fight the Tama. Design. Yeah, go. No, they're here to fight Saitama. Stands the reason that Probably the said it bro. them here. A man in a yellow costume, his white cape flowing in the wind, the evening sun shining off the dome. Why make him seem like a, some type of a heroic figure? In the eyes of the SC Foundation, he's uh, one he of the most dangerous anomalies the they've ever encountered. Yes, yeah, more people calling him an anomaly. He's just Saitama, the man who's just a hero. For fun, with the help of the potentially world-ending enough. Quick, quick! Before we get into it, do y'all call Saitama Saitama or Saitama? Tell me in the comments. Bro. You said Saitama normally. I I you, I bounce between. I say Saitama when I try to be funny, but I say Saitama when I'm being serious. Like you know, you know how I be. You know what I'm saying? Saitama. <laughs> SCP-682 and SCP-096. Did the SCP Foundation count Saitama among their thousands of secured, contained, and protected anomalies? Just two hours earlier, the city was still standing. A seemingly normal man, unremarkable save for his baldness, was taking a day trip into the city, hoping to enjoy the fine restaurants and maybe buy some new t-shirts in Shibuya. It's his day off. Oh, yeah, he doesn't intend to get into any fights. But today, that won't be his choice. Mm -hmm. Far above, a Foundation drone tracks his every move, feeding up-to-the-minute data to the many Japanese Foundation field agents embedded in the crowds. Oh, that's why they will say to Their mission is simple. Ferry the man known as Saitama to an isolated oh, like, location, why so much then move in to oh. intercept. Hopefully, he'd see reason and submit to know, containment bro. voluntarily. If he didn't, They'd need to resort to more extreme measures. Yo, this dude's one of the most dangerous anomalies out, bruh. So he either submit or we pay him. <laughs> hey, yeah, hold it, pulling out a gun on him. Like, bruh, that's like look at a little kid with a nerf gun. Like, bro, I'm gonna kick you, bruh. Boom! <laughs> that ain't no kick. That ain't no kick. Oh! Up in the ceiling. Stuck. What you hit him with? Black Flash? A field agent disguised as a promoter approached Saitama outside of the <laughs> What are you trying to do? The intel indicated that for up? all his anomalous <laughs> potential, Saitama couldn't resist a good deal. And that's a weakness they'd be happy to exploit. The field agent gave Saitama a coupon promising a 60% off deal mm -hmm. at a nearby sushi restaurant that okay. was a little off the beat. I'd rather take egg rolls, bro. Egg rolls are delicious, bro. But smile. Man, Man, that's a great thing. Egg and dumplings. I'd have to be a moron to pass that up. Dumplings be very fishy, but most of the time they're good, yeah. 20 minutes later, Saitama was arriving at the spicy, cheap-priced sushi restaurant. Classic. Completely unaware that a trap had been laid for him, and that the entire two-mile radius around the Dang. restaurant had been evacuated in advance. Dang, she has, like, things crazy bills. Ugly. And things Look at the were dudes, absolutely bro. going yeah, see their to build? be ugly. All of this had started when Foundation researchers in Tokyo noticed strange and impossible things. Anomalies, known to some of their Japanese research division as mysterious oh. beings, were turning up dead. Incredibly powerful creatures. Dang, oh, walking them down! Homelander? Obviously killed. The only thing that could be killing these anomalies was an even more powerful anomaly. 
which led How agents to a local apartment building where the criminal body level was off the charts. One of the few residents left in this building, believed by many to be a dangerous area, was a bald man who lived alone and matched certain eyewitness reports of a mysterious figure dressed like a superhero, killing monsters multiple oh. times his size. Two punches this a loose variable like that couldn't be left uncontained. The SCP Foundation needed to lock him up and conduct as many tests as they could. Dang, that actually sounds Back vicious to the now, freak. As Saitama had just walked into the Foundation front business posing as a sushi restaurant, he placed his order. My fart. <laughs> That was, that was that was brain rock, bro. I was like, I had to, I had to like what fuel. Happened? I had to fuel dopamine, bro. What happened? I had to fuel dopamine. I was like, yo, he's yappy. <laughs> no, I'm like locked in, but like, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me just like. Yeah, you know, sometimes it takes like a while to lock in. You guys let like the goofiness out. No, like I was, I was like diving into like sleepiness, and I was like, let me crash out. I can. Cause be like they're they're like, they're talking about. This is what Saitama is. I'm like, we watched the show, bro. No, describe me a mad movie. exposition, bro. Like you never seen him. Like everyone thinking because they know who Saitama is. We have two minutes more of that. Let me go. Bro. Probably two more minutes. Two minutes to fight. I'm sorry, bro. I was just making sure y'all locked in, bro. He's tired, y'all. You've been up for a couple days. One day, bro. <laughs> you gotta make it seem hard, bro. <laughs> make it seem hard as well, bro. Let's, let's lock in. Let's lock in. I was making sure y'all locked. Suddenly, y'all lock. a heavily armed mobile task force emerged from the shadows. Aiming oh, high power assault came from rifles the loaded with armor-piercing rounds that could easily put down a rifle. Dang! They just enjoyed it out. But he seemed oblivious to the danger. But Are you guys think... here for the sushi deal? You're a little overdressed. The mobile task force didn't feel like wasting any time. They like, the talked disrespectful to a guy they're trying to recruit nightly? And submit himself to custody. If he didn't, they were authorized to use Uh-huh, them. this is exactly how the conversation went. Listen here, busted. <laughs> Lizzie, you're Buster. You're coming with us, or we're gonna have to use like, force. You love, you love. Uh, uh, that wasn't me, bro. <laughs> stop, stop. I can't lose or or from doing everything, bro. That's so crazy. Saitama like protests. No, okay, you didn't go over, bro. Keep nah, nah, the sushi. <laughs> that was a pity. That was a pity. Don't worry, you were still made pity. Crazy, whatever that was. He'd lost times. friends on the SCP-682 detail, so he sure as hell wasn't going to take a chance yeah, on this one. He commanded his squad to open fire. The oh my god, the, the, amount the, the, the amount of IQ, the amount of IQ, bro, being used. First they talked bad about him, and then... bullets shredded through the front desk hey, and covered the wall. Right? We saw a girl. But somehow, it's not a single one hit Saitama. He wasn't even there. In his surprise, the squad leader turned, only to see Saitama standing right behind him. What's wrong with you? You gotta be more careful where you're pointing. <laughs> <laughs> the squad leader pivoted and tried to find Saitama again. In a panic, the second in command requested immediate backup and ordered the team to Flick fall back. There was another death in crack from across about. the street as a Foundation sniper positioned in a nearby building Wow, the sniper going to do mad work, yeah. straight into the back look at, bro? of Saitama's head. The oh, he does that to him! clean! No, he got hit, bro. Like, fired at the side <laughs> of the car. He itched the yeah, he got hit, bro. Even noticing it. Wow, that hurt. Luckily for the foundation, <laughs> that that was the only plan A. Plan B started. Why felt like a dirty shooter at sushi restaurant? Hey, we got that one. Reducing the entire up. building to rubble. Okay, they blew up the building. Inside of it, that they estimated was sure to at least slow him down, or so they thought. Until the bald hero for fun effortlessly climbed out wow, of the rubble. Wow, that was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, in the course of the explosion, like, bro, he managed like to change football, from his bro. civilian outfit to his hero uniform. Oh, now he's he going to try to mask. He felt like that one dude <laughs> from, uh... They rolled uh, out the heavy uh, artillery. Uh, uh, State-of-the-art tank spilled that into the That and, uh, Adventure the Time. And the, the bubble, uh, not the bubble, uh, the purple dude. That's a girl. Lumpy Space Princess? Oh, shoot, Mike Glower. Mike Glower. Yeah, you sound exactly like him, bro. Oh, bro. Her, man. Oh, Dang, whatever that thing is. Oh, my God, fam. That's how she talks, bro. <laughs> uh, stop, bro. Stop, bro. 
Above the scrambled several times. Oh, no! Why did that be so? That was the dumbest voice action. 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 With speed that regular eyes couldn't even quantify. Saitama dodged around machine gun fire from land. I thought he would have been punched him though. Bullets instead tearing up the asphalt beneath his feet. The tanks rolled in close to get a better chance of landing a hit on Saitama, but that would be <laughs> real stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Saitama simply swatted out of the air like an annoying that about the whole of Fractions of a second after, he lunged forward and with one punch reduced the tank to scrap. We landed. From the right side, we're lucky that they And with one <laughs> punch, <laughs> fired around from its knee. <laughs> simply swatted out of the air like an annoying I'm, fly. I'm mad fractions now. Fractions of a second after, he lunged forward. I didn't know this health bar was up. I don't even know you guys. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Day off like this. <laughs> no! Wasn't going to be a Who was this voice acting? <laughs> no. The air support. What's wrong with you? Wait, we got that rock in there, bro. Watch it, bro. Watch it, bro. Explosive rockets that pummeled the ground around the world. Yo, stop low IQ. This is the dumbest attack. To take that line down. He reached over and grabbed up a handful of small stones from the oh, rubble of the destroyed road around We know that um, the yes, Titan did. This would do. He looked up into the sky, his superhuman vision zeroing in on his aerial pursuers. They, one by one, still? he tossed the pebbles into the air, firing them at a velocity that an anti-air uh, weapon could only aspire to reach with its own projectiles. Glaze. The pebbles perfectly struck <laughs> the no each of the choppers and jets, sending them down with spectacular explosions. The burnt husks landing amongst buildings I mean, and, be educated, bro. and starting quickly spreading fires. Little did Saitama know, the foundation Man, also an effigy. reality anchors in different buildings around him, hoping reality to anchors. limit his power. Yeah. Instead, his presence had caused the anchors to overload and explode. That Saitama was even no more sense. powerful than the best foundation estimates had allowed for. If they wanted that makes any sense, hope though, of he had the limit. containing him, and you'll get to my position a little anomalous assistance. Like in the really case bro. of extreme emergencies like this one, no, where the anomalous enemy is extremely stronger. powerful, but the area is so densely stronger that ground to plane. It's hard. Hey, what, what? These are reality acres. They leave they're literally supposed to counter reality warpers. But he like, literally I reality he, warpers, bro. I don't think he like Ain't really no is. way he blew them up by his presence, bro. I don't I think he really like, like <laughs> bro, bro. That thing is actually crazy. The Foundation has a list of incredibly dangerous anomalies that can be deployed on no, ships really in order to provide a show yeah, of extreme yeah. force and against a seemingly unstoppable enemy. Contains oh no, we saw Able, we already don't have Able, bro. bro. We got maxed out. Actually, we saw the animations of all these fights. Able, Shy Guy, again. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Lizard. Zeroing in on Saitama's location. Chief among them was SCP-076. Able. Able. An immortal warrior, inhumanly proficient in combat, hey, capable of producing weapons out of thin air. When he heard that a combatant as strong as Saitama was involved, he demanded to be allowed to face him. Abel was always looking for new opportunities yeah. to test his skills. It wasn't long before enough. the it's immortal warrior no, arrived in a dog. Like dog. That animation we have seen, dog outfit. He pulled two obsidian blades out of his weapon pocket dimensions. And set his sights on Saitama. Really, if they really wanted to kill him, they just, they just got the Gate Guardian. Lord him to the Gate Guardian. Not a Gate Guardian literally could blow. Like, they should have, but. The, the be... Gate Guardian is able to destroy you by a molecule. Dude, they've been doing low IQ plans this whole time. The bro. SCP Foundation kind of have zero brain cells. The Reality Warper made more hard. sense, though. I don't know how he was saying. No, he said they the destroyed the Reality Warper from, from, from his, his presence. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Saitama asked, scratching his head. Like a cosplayer for a new video game or something? No problem with you. didn't take kindly to this. That, the stranger in the middle of Saitama needed to be taught respect. Like that? He raised forward. his weapons and charged in. Just respect him. Get with me! It was impossible for a mortal man. He would cleave this Saitama's bald head from his... Bam! A single punch from Saitama sent Abel sailing up through the air, out through the atmosphere, <laughs> and into the cold, unforgiving darkness. Why would he hit him that hard? It happened so quickly that the warrior didn't even know that he was dead. Huh, that was weird, I said. How did Abel survive that? 
No, Abel, he... He should have been obliterated. He could take damage from armor-piercing rounds. Like, he's he is bulletproof, but armor-piercing rounds, he's able to take damage from... He is also extremely skilled in combat for some reason. But it's like, bro, he got punched so hard he went to space. Mm, cap. Ain't no way, bro. If fragment from Abel had been ineffective in subduing Saitama, he bought the foundation just enough time to mark the I don't know what y'all think y'all doing with a tank. pods were landing all across Tokyo, unleashing horrific monsters bent on that? destruction, all placed into a collision course with Saitama. Bro, it just now, be one it monster to How'd they know they're going to go there? Half a mile west, SCP-2419, the laughing <laughs> Why are they crawling? <laughs> made from the bodies of they're not even crawling, they're just have one hand on the ground. Unkillable. Visiting indiscriminate violence on any civilians who Yo, they're evil! As long as Boy, they, no, they evacuate. in Saitama, the Foundation considered this to be oh, I mean, acceptable. Made from the road, like, 50 on? meters north, another pod unleashed SCP-058, the Heart of Darkness. What is that? I gotta look that one up. Causing yeah. mass destruction with Actually, we react to it. acid sprays, bladed tendrils, and sharp insect-like legs. What it is that gonna do? I don't like uh, going on my floor too small for me, bro. I had like my thing on, bro, and I was like, I did that twice at home. Bro, whatever is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, when I was crazy. editing, it was like loading. I went in my room and beat my dog. Oh, no, <laughs> not with the dogs. No, so I went, what you do to him, bro? You know what I'm saying? I got to help him out. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was editing. Like looking wider. I was editing. It was loading. I was like, man, it's going to take 10 minutes. I can beat my joint real quick. <laughs> I went, beat my joint, came back. 10 minutes? It don't last no 10 nah. minutes. Wait, beat my joint. It way longer. Came back and I was editing some more. And after I made the thumbnail, I was like, okay, I have an hour left before I have to go to work. Yeah, let me just go for it. <laughs> I'll beat my joint again. <laughs> so I went to work and then, like, after four hours, I went to my first break. You know, it's supposed to be 15, but I did 30. I was like, I went straight to the bathroom for 30 minutes, just beat my joint. <laughs> and then I came out the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Did lunch. Be my joint. <laughs> <laughs> no, that ain't right. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> for the straight junior, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> you was not kidding, you goody, bro. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? No, then last break, I was the baby. I should be my joint again, or I should eat something. Nah, your joint injured. I was like, no, 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 I was like, I like this, I like this. My joint kind of hurt. <laughs> My dear, <laughs> I was like, I can probably take a break, be my dude at home. <laughs> I should eat some chips or something. <laughs> then I, thought, I was like, Yo, after this recording, I'm gonna be my dude. I'm probably gonna sleep. I'm <laughs> oh, man, Gene, what do you think I'm gonna keep making all those jokes about? We're gonna get those jokes, I'll just be in the middle of the room, beating my dude. <laughs> You really thought like, it was a game? You like, yeah, I think uh, we should end it right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> right here. <laughs> no, bro, it's funny. Oh, really, bro? Oh, no, no. That's funny, that's funny, that's funny. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm that's a, how you be staying I'm, little, bro? I'm an S-tier joker. No, it actually makes me sleepier. Of course, bro. You, you really I was drinking my energy drink, and I was like, hey, I started doing some energy. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm energized. Gotta be my joint. <laughs> that's why you feel tired, bro. You might be tired more than being your joint. Yeah. Don't make those jokes about me because now that's true, bro. <laughs> you really no, gonna, I'm an S tier comedian. I'm gonna turn around, you really uh, gonna be like this. No, nah, I'm literally an S tier comedian, bro. No, nah, Jake's funny, bro. <laughs> you really believe that, Jake? It better not be true. <laughs> it is, though. <laughs> <laughs> it better not be true, bro. Uh, bro. Four times a day. Nah, nah. I was an SAC, bro. I live to that joint, bro. If you're like, you have the same video me, like, awfully a lot this recording session, bro. Yep. Cause I was going like for, every time. I was trying to set the record today, bro. <laughs> oh, there you go. After this recording, I'm gonna be by you again. Nah, that's actually funny, bro. I'm about to go lay down. No, you're not, bro. Joint. No, you're you not. Gotta do my <laughs> yeah, no, you're not, bro. I gotta go in there and be my joint first, bro. Yeah, help you out. <laughs> oh, this is tripping. <laughs> no, I just thought that was funny. My bro said this dude's a gooner. <laughs> <laughs> you really a goody, bro. No. You had like never bro. heard the definition of goonie until now. No, bro. I didn't know. I, I really crashed out, bro. First break, be my joint. Lunch break, be my joint. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even gonna, like, you know what they say, believe in, believe in get power. I'm not believing it, so they don't give it no power. Last, last break, about the, I was about to be my joint, and I was like, uh, I might need a little protein. 
just get warmed back up. Nah. And I, you know it's what I'm saying? Bro, I know it, bro. You're probably it. throbbing right now, bro. No, no, no. It's actually good now. Like, I jumped some H2O, bro. Nah. Bro. But like, before, like, after the fourth one, I was like, maybe I could take a break. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait till I go home, do it again. I can probably squeeze two more tonight <laughs> before I go to sleep. Might be my joy to come out here, edit for an hour or two. Like do it again. Wait on Jay Hook. Do it again. <laughs> no, I'm, right, no, I'm actually just playing. I'm actually just playing, though. That's just funny. Right, that's just funny, bro. In passers by. They feel you know. We got coming. This new man's a gooner. He goons every day. One zero six. The old man. Mm -mm. Another immortal SAC, and incredibly bro. sadistic SCP known for trapping its victims. Oh, we, we saw him fight him too. To torture them. This is uh, the old man. Yes. Yeah. It would enjoy. Whoa! Ripping him up. Against a victim as strong as Saitama. That would be a truly delightful challenge. But he'll be it was dead, time bro. to see if Saitama really was worthy to wear the title Hero. First, the Laughing Men attacked. They leapt onto Saitama, striking him with their gnarled fists, cackling oh, the Kuniaks. Their initial strike was ferocious, but Saitama grabbed each of the Laughing Men and threw them down toward the ground, smashing them clean through the concrete laughing and leaving them deep look up dark too. holes in their place. Next came the Heart of Darkness. Muttering its constant Dude, these, these, these enemies seem more interesting right now. It rampaged towards Saitama, running they, straight huh? through the buildings in its way, the OP. spraying fire and acid everywhere. Saitama squared up and prepared himself. Oh, he squared up! Normal punch! He yelled with steely determination. You lost the door, bro. I don't know if all the ordinary. They should have stopped talking, bro. Normal punch! It's like corny out, bro. Damn, dude, that was so bad. That was so bad, bro. I'm gonna get serious now. <laughs> How about you take one of these? <laughs> like, bro. I feel like we better repair yourself, Buster. The SCP in the back room, we've seen like the voice acting in these, so bro. So bad, so bad, bro. They ain't cooking, bro. As the heart of darkness came yeah. within yeah. distance, they hey, obliterated, bro. His single Why didn't that do it to Abel? The heart into red mist, neutralizing the anomaly for good. Saitama was disappointed that the fight didn't go on for longer, especially with all of this buildup. But before he could feel any more ennui, he looked down and saw a black portal opening underneath his feet. It was SCP-106 reaching up from the ground, oh, no, no, dragging Saitama down into the darkness of the pocket dimension. He had to admit, this was incredibly creepy. Foundation operatives back in the control room of the Tokyo containment site actually found themselves feeling relieved as Saitama disappeared into the pocket dimension. Dang! Bro, yoked him up! Perhaps this would be the culmination of it. The hero for Click Fruit, to me now. They, need Why are they, trying they to keep destroy calling him hero. I'm like, hold on, this is crazy. Containing SCP-106. But just as the Foundation was counting their blessings, another portal opened. Saitama climbed out, unharmed, covered in viscous black goo that had once been SCP-106. He killed Yet bro? another anomaly had been permanently neutralized by this permanently that new means anomaly, which the Foundation was considering codenaming One Punch Man. Ah, uh, what a stressful day. So I like how they're acting like, 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 like if he yeah, existed yeah, in this world. Like, I'm gonna need to get this clean. cleaned. The Foundation had exhausted what all other possible got his options. From? They needed to deploy the two the crab, anomalies most different. likely to cause mass casualty events. I don't know, probably a Flamingo, bro. Yeah. SCP-682, <laughs> the hard-to-destroy reptile, and SCP-096, the shy guy. They just their seen combined seen powers couldn't bring Ray Saitama twang, to heal. Twang. Nothing could. All their hopes rested on this. Which brings us back to the start of this story. Saitama stood there, he was standing surrounded on top, by though. two of the deadliest anomalies and he wasn't in wearing black goose. The second that he looked at SCP-096's face, the beast started to scream. It entered its rage state and lunged oh, forward, nah, arms extended Literally to rip and tear, war. until a single punch utterly disintegrated the monster. No way! Not sure. We getting ridiculous with this one. We getting ridiculous with this one. We getting okay. It works. It works. Kind of like. As how strong he is now, that he's able like what sneeze a plant or whatever. Wait, I don't know if he can sneeze a plant, but like he sneezed all of Jupiter's crust off, and he farted away half of the planet. We don't know how OP Shy Guy is, 
We know he's been that we know low. Shy guy is able to be subdued. But like disintegrate though. I don't know, bro. It's not even a serious punch or nothing. Finding Saitama no less disgusting. If it adapts, it will go window on the planet. It only takes it one hit from the adapt. human, even if he was powerful. The reptile could surely evolve and adapt to anything that he threw at it. Yeah, literally, he will adapt to CP exactly the was The moment he hits him, it was surviving despite it all. But as the monster attacked, oh, Saitama no. unleashed his secret weapon. Serious punch. Well, how do you know? SCP-682 was splattered into green goo across half of Tokyo. I need to see Saitama versus the No Man. I don't know who that is. Basically, wait, isn't the No Man? It's uh, SCP. Oh no, Ooh, I need to see him against Ooh. SCP-000, uh, SCP-001 Ooh. I need to see him against him. Basically, whoever he's around, he makes him mortal, right? Like, status effect, that's like, it's base, you're, you become immortal. Jay, he's so strong that... So, you know, um, uh, the kill, unkillable yeah. lizard, right? Yeah. He's so strong, the, the lizard bit him, right? He thought that was annoying. So, he just slapped the lizard so fast that his individual particles cease to exist. <laughs> he slapped him so fast that all of his particles cease to exist. Like by the, they said, like by the part, like he, like he started disintegrating I from that slap. How did he survive? He didn't. He's like every like that slap is op. Is like ooh, we that that slap is op. He hits so fast that it disintegrates you by the particle. Like dude, that's still crazy, bro. He and then he had everyone more like, bro, no, this dude's crazy. Basically, he have he's basically like he just tearing up the world, bro. If these how more, they are, they're immortal. No, he came to this world, and literally he made everybody in this world immortal, and thousands of years just t tormenting every SCP, everything on here, everything on the planet, tormenting them, like just bullying them, the SCPs and everything. They're trying to jump them and all that stuff, just tormenting everything. I mean, he had a, he took he went to a city. He he big he dig he dug a big hole for like two years, dig this big hole. Then he was throwing everybody in the hole, and then he jumped in the hole. Like jump, my remember they're immortal. They can heal. He kept jumping in the hole. Like millions of people filled this giant crater, like miles long. Jumped in the hole until these immortal people that can heal was like nothing but red paste. Like they was red liquid, and he drunk them, and then threw them up back into the hole. That was just for fun. He did that for two years straight. Like didn't stop. Nah, I need to see him fight. Uh, nah, well, you can't fight him, bro. He's Dude, like, that makes no sense, bro. He's 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 ooh, bro. He's a he's a end. He's like he's a he, you know he's a, he's a SCP zero zero one end of the world scenario. The moment he comes is up. Yeah, how do they? How, what, uh, that's a different reality. That's like that's a that's a version like yeah. But the yeah. moment he comes, everyone's cooked when he comes. Yeah, and the thing is, he makes even every, the FEPs are good. Yeah, and he makes he makes everyone immortal. Like yeah, that's not something he does it consciously. It's like that's a side effect. Just, he's so powerful, everyone around him becomes immortal. Like just from being around him, like the whole planet becomes immortal. Like that's how OP he is. Yeah, what the heck kind of character do you create, bro? Nah, bro, that joint's peak, bro. But hey, you know, Laura though, don't be you know though. what I'm saying. Look, I know a little bit about some SCP, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I, oh, no, bro, no, no. I, I still get around. Oh, hey, no. I know. I still get around. Oh, hey, no. I know a little bit about some SCP, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Well, look, if you like the video, I'm do like, comment, subscribe, man, do all that, bro. All like that, bro. I'm the Drake Jr., bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you was not kidding, you cootie, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>